another glorious morning. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'll never get bored of that. Ever. Not at all. Nice and early as well, this one. Got a busy day today. Really have, and I've got to try and get some stuff done before 12. So, let's have a quick look at this ground. Do you know what? That's turned out really well. That really has. So it's levelled off now, you can just about tell. No issue there. Not at all. So now what we can do is we can plough. Probably just like, you know, coming across here. As far as we can get. This skip's obviously going soon. And then we'll kind of finish up and go even further across here. And then around that. I think that'll be spot on. I'm going to get a gate for that hedge, I've decided. But not just yet. Just because it might cost me a little bit of money. And, and some of the fences that I took out over there, I'm going to put one in over here. And then I'm going to put one in over here. Because there was a tree here, but I've chopped it down. Um, and it's just out them with their garden. I mean, you never know. They might have a dog or a pet. And we obviously don't want it getting over here. Just in case, it, you know, machinery in over here. Didn't want anything bad happen. Right. Let's go and head down to, the, to George's farm. Because... We need to get cracking. The part came yesterday for the Massey, so I'm going to work on that today. You never know, fingers crossed, and get that going. I'm hoping so. It's going to give it an oil change, oil filter, all that good stuff, and then obviously change uh, and then fix the, the problem as well. And I'm hoping, you know, it should run, but we'll just have to give it kind of a bit of a service just to make sure everything's fine. And if it runs, I'm happy. I'm happy then. Just don't know what it's going to perform like. Even if it runs, it might be struggling. But you know what? A free tractor. At the end of the day, it's a free tractor. George is going to be happy with it. And you never know, with it being a massy like that, George is probably going to enjoy the idea of probably doing it up. It wouldn't surprise me if it gets a new paint job on it. It's still there. It's strange, that is. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if it gets a paint job on it. And, you know gets it fully serviced properly especially if, it, if I can get it run Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll start straight away. We'll get we'll get this done. The first thing I want to do though is I won't wake George up. I don't know if George is up, he might be up. Yeah, he's probably up, but I won't go to my room. We'll uh let's just go check on Winnie. Seems alright, let's just have a quick look. Look at the food and water, because Yeah, plenty of water. Hiya Winnie, you okay? Seems happy enough. Yeah, just check the food quickly. Oh yeah, got plenty, plenty of feed. Yeah, just want to do that because obviously Beanie's probably not going to be here today. And even if she is, I don't know what time she'll appear. Quick check. Right, feed mix is ready to go. Massey's in there. We'll work on that soon. I just quickly want to check the gates. Because I've been busy, really busy. I've kind of tried to scoop out as much of the muck as possible. You can see there's a, there is a bit still there, but obviously not. You know, the ground's not flat as much anymore. But we've got it down, definitely got it down. And you can tell it's still wet. I just need it to dry out. As soon as it dries out, I can put some of that hard standing down. But it's just, yeah. It's not been looked after, let's put it that way, that area. So I'm hoping we can, you know, fix it and get it at least good enough to drive over for a few years. This I need to dump somewhere as well. That's all the mud that I've scooped out. But there's still more, still more left. Anyway, I can't do that today. Got to let it dry out. 
let it dry out and then we'll see where we're at. Right, let's go sort the feed out. Cows first, then we'll do the pigs. Tell you what, they did a good job, didn't they? Servicing this. I had one problem at all since that. Right, so what I'm going to do... A few of these bloody weird bales. CCM. And we'll see where we're at after that. I'm hoping... They won't need too much. I have checked and they've got plenty of water still. But... They do need probably a bit of a top up on the feed. They're happy though, them pigs. I have been looking at them. George didn't even know what he's bought. But he's basically bought... A few porkers, which basically are like young, young stock, female pigs. So we're obviously going to fatten them up, and then we've bought a boar. So I think he's got ten, ten of the porkers, and uh, we've got a boar. So the boar's obviously there to breed with the, the porkers, and hopefully we can have a litter, a few piglets, and, you know, expand on like that. That's the, that's the plan. Let's just hope it works out. Never done pigs before, neither me or George. So it's uh, something new to both of us, but we can do it. Pigs are easy really, aren't they? I hope so anyway. From what he said, they eat anything, so we'll find that out. Oh, I've just been throwing them in a bale. I haven't actually done a mix yet. Right. Let's just make sure I've got this set up right. We're going to start faffing. And we'll turn her on. Right, that should be good. There we go. Right, so she's spinning. We're going to put this, drop this CCM in. Is that it? Don't weigh much, does it? Not much at all. Right. Probably drop in three more. Bloody hell, I hope that's cheap. I'll tell you that now. I hope George didn't pay much for this. They are small bales though, aren't they? I'm trying to think. Should we put another... F should we put four in? We're going to have to, aren't we? we're going to have to and we'll come get some sugar beets and start shredding it in I might even back in the feed mixer because uh, it'll save me faffing about too much yeah first pig feed mix though I mean we can't go wrong that's how I see it with it being our first one but at least we're breaking up them bales Take this wrapping off. I'll do it for them too. I'll drop that one's down so I can actually take it off. Should have done it before I picked them up really. I definitely don't want to get a plastic wrap stuck in that feed mix. Right. Let's check that's gone up. Nearly. Let's just break them ones up. So we'll leave that. Let's go get this bucket. And then we'll get set up with this. And then I'll back that in. So far, so good, eh? Right, here we go. Let's get this sorted. Right, this should be interesting. Never used this bucket before. Never used anything like it. But from what George says, it should really just do the job for us. So it looks like a full load to me. Well, let's just have a quick look. We're on the limit there. Didn't want to hit that light, but that looks like it should be fine. So we've just got to turn the bucket on. And it should start shredding. Which it is. <laughs> I 
that's uh, that is nifty. That really is. Fair play. <laughs> it's bought something decent there, George. Has. Second hand light, but decent. Does the job. I tell you what, now that, that looks like decent pig food. And I think they'll be happy with that. 25,000, about halfway up to not what I normally give cows, so that should be alright for 11 pigs, shouldn't it? Surely. Right, so I'll give it a good mix, so we should be alright. Let's go feed them this, see what they, see what they think. They best be bloody happy, I tell you that. Or else they're going to be quite difficult. Definitely got close to that, didn't we? George should kill me for that. Brand new as well. It's probably one of the only brand new things he's ever bought. now JCB does struggle with this it really does it knows he's got quite a bit of weight on the back there you go bean is here hmm god knows ah I know why I bet she's looking after the farm when we head to Brixie's later that's what that'll be must be I won't go in, I'll just get distracted. I'm actually being really productive. Getting all the feed done, animals are looked after. And if we finish this off, well, then I can go work on that Massey. And if I can get that Massey up and running by, what, 12 o'clock when we go? I'm gonna be happy, because we're just about quarter to nine, so. That's some good time, I can't really see. I'll be honest, this is uh, quite worrying. I think I'm just about missing that gate. Just about. Yep, we did it. That was tight. Right, feed troughs over here. And we should be right. <laughs> Come out of the way. There we go. Job done. Just shut this gate. And then we can go park this up because I think that was a job well done. Pigs are fed. I think I've already seen a few of them eating it, so. It's a weird noise, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, should be alright now. So, park it up and I'll get working on that Massey. We've got a few hours anyway. Getting close to. Yeah, about three and a half hours, four hours, which is not bad at all. Right, I think that's it. PTO are fixed. Give it an oil change. I've changed the filters. And I've sorted out the crankshaft and the pulley, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'm nervous about this. <laughs> uh, there's only one way to find out in there. I mean, it does need a good clean, don't get me wrong. It needs a lot. You know, I wouldn't like to use this, but if I can get the engine going, I think that's got to be the main thing, on it? Just want to make sure before I try this, I've done everything. Battery's tested and charged. Yeah, I think everything 
It's everything. Right. Come on. Not that time. It sounded like it wanted to go though. It did. It did. It did sound like it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Hmm. Right, I'm going to put a bit more throttle on this time. Oh my days. Oh, oh, oh. Get in. George is going to be over the moon with that. Oh, all that work I did with Mech is paying off. That is a tractor that's probably sat out there for years and it's running. I mean, you can tell she's old. There's smoke coming off that. Tim would be proud. <laughs> yeah, she's running. 390T. Right, I'll leave her for a few minutes. Give her, you know, 20 minutes just to tick over a bit. I'll give her a few revs on the ramp and then we'll go around. We'll go for a spin around the yard. Surprise Georgia before we head off. Oh, oh, that is cracking news. Let's keep that door open though. We'll be gassed out in here with them fumes. Okay, so she's ready. Che I've checked the lights, so all them are on, indicators are on. We're pretty much ready to try this out. So let's just take her off here steady. I mean, she's driving well. But we will just go pretty slow. There we go. Give her a bit of gas. It's been a while since she's since it's actually been moving, so probably wants it. Nippy little thing, really. George is going to be over the moon when he sees this. Give him a few beeps and I'll head round in front. I bet he's seen me. I bet you any money he's seen me. Smoke coming off it though. Hey, up he's here now, he's here. Bloody hell, Scroft, you did it, man. You bloody gone and done it. Look at her, she's running. Bloody smoke coming off her, though, isn't she? You sure that's right? Is that normal? Yeah, it's all right, George. Just old. Oh, I don't care if she's old. Look at it, you got it running. Yeah, all everything's working on it as well. Well, well done, buddy. Honestly. I honestly thought you wouldn't get that going. But you have surprised me. Well done. Well, I think that's poignant, isn't it? We're going to look at some tractors. We've already got a new in as it is. George, Dan ain't going to do the field work, so... We can't... No, I know, I know, I'm going to be messing with you, but it's nice to have another tractor. I agree. Front load as well, George. I haven't checked that, though. I haven't tested that yet. I've fixed the PTO on it. That was... Well, I basically just add it. Add it on the back, so... Sorted that. Engine's fine. Give it an oil change. Filter. You know, the normal stuff. It probably wants to go in for a proper full service, George. It's been ages, you know, little things like that. But I'd say, now we've got it running, it's worth taking it in for a proper service at Garage. Oh, I reckon. Uh, I think you're right there. And uh, give her a clean as well, Scroft. Yeah, I know. I'll get that done next, mate. I'll check uh, the front loader and then I'll, I'll give her a clean. Well, I reckon. Right, well, are you ready? Yeah, let me just part this up. All right, and bud, you can pull that up and I'll speak to Beanie. All right, um. There you go. It's a big smile on his face. Hopefully that'll be a good thing with him. <laughs> with him spending some money soon. Well, you never know. He might be doing... It, there's more chance of him spending money now because obviously he's smiling. Well done, Massey. Well done. I can turn that off and turn that off. We should probably turn the lights off as well. Yeah, well done. Well done. Nice little tractor. Right, let's go sort this out then. It's got a long drive ahead of us. 
Yeah, yeah, no worries, Beanie. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure you don't mind looking after the house? Honestly, George, it'll be fine. Don't worry about me. You go do what you've got to get done. Right, well, thanks for that, love. I really appreciate it. Me and Scroff both appreciate it. Now, we don't know what time we'll be back, but... Listen, I know you've got to be at the pub. What time is it? Uh, my shift starts at nine. All right, well, if we're not back by nine, just head off, lock up. Everything will be fine. We should be back by then, but you never know. Depends, doesn't it? There is a pub round there, and uh, with Scroff driving, I might stop for a couple. Can't blame you at all, George. I'd probably do the exact same. <laughs> Wish I could do that, Beanie. It's always him. Stops for the pints. I'm just chauffeur. Hey, listen, I'll pay you. Because I'll pay you, I'm the one who's allowed to stop. Yeah, right then. Never change. See you later, Beanie. See ya. See you in a bit, love. Right, am I driving, George? Oh, you bloody stupid. We just bloody spoke about that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, you ready? I am bloody ready. You brought a pillar? <laughs> I am, but that reminds me. You're not going back in now or off? Bloody hell, you all want to give me the idea. Pillar sounds like a great good idea, actually. You know, next time, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get myself a bloody pillar. Oh, wow. Ah. Good thinking, Scroft. Right, well, long drive ahead of us. Are you looking forward to it, George? Well, it should be alright, shouldn't it? Three tractors, supposed to be all pretty beefy. Exactly what we're looking for, so... Let's just hope one fits, eh? We're only going to be spending this amount of money on nothing. It's going to be just right, I think. Yeah, I think you are right, George, and it's going to be doing a lot of the work, you know, out in them fields. We do pretty much need it to be a, a full-on workhorse, so I agree. Spend your money wisely on this one. What? Wise words, wise words. Have you ever heard a noise like it? I mean, what the hell was that? I mean, we've just got pigs on the farm, but it seems like I've brought one with me. <laughs> George. Oh, laughing. <laughs> what does he say? <laughs> oh, my God. George. Uh. George! Oh, hey, oh, God almighty. It's you. Oh, God. Oh, I was having a right nice dream. What were you doing? Were you moaning about someone? Or moaning to someone? Maybe. You know what? It could have been someone like that, aren't you? <laughs> you sounded happy. <laughs> oh, we're nearly there. Yeah, we are. We're not far off now, George, and it's bloody raining. Not nice, I'll tell you that. Ah, oh, well. It is what it is. Yeah, that's true. Oh, looks like someone's out muck spreading. Well, looks like they're all out. Holy hell, fire! Ah. Uh, so, what do you know about these tractors then, George? Not much, mate. Honestly. I know one's a Ford. That he's had in a f recently, so... I don't even know if you had time to look at it, to be honest. And uh, I asked for him over 200. Over 200 horsepower. Ideally around 250. Second hand, brand new. Second hand, brand new, George. Ah. Right, well, he's open. Well, at least one of them is good enough, eh? Bloody hope so. I'd be surprised if not, George. You and Brixie get on, he wouldn't mess you about, would he? What way should come do this trip? When he knows you've moved and all that. Well, I don't know, well, I don't know. Right, we're here. Let's uh, head up here, George, and let me speak to your best buddy. Best buddy? I don't really speak to him much anymore. Only when he only speaks to me when he wants my money. <laughs> and you only speak to him when you want one of his tractors. Oh, that's true. Right. Can we just pull up same place as always? Ah, oh, same place. You doing talking? Ah. Now they're talking. Yeah. 
It's raining, George. I oh, know it's bloody raining, you fool. What the hell? You state the obvious. Christ. Just saying. I know what you're like. You're not used to coming outside the house. But, cheeky bobber again. Every bloody time. Knock on that door for me. Alright <laughs> then. Hey up! Hey, George, how's it going, mate? Nice to see you again. Hey, you brought your wallet? I bloody have on top because of you. Every time I come here, you take my money. Hey, what'd you expect there, George? Sand tractors? That's what you do. Well, I don't know. Well, well. Right, what you got for me then, bricks? Right, well, and I got a Ford. You know about the Ford. Oh, I know about Ford. There's a case and a fen. I'll put them down on a piece of paper and you can go around and have a look. Alright then, sounds about right. Sounds right, pass it over to Scroft, he'll sort that bit out. Yeah, I'll give it to you mate, you won't have a clue. Right, cheers. Alright then Bricks, I'll go have a look and I'll come back to you and let you know what I think. Alright then, yep, remember. Best tractors around lad. You want it? You gotta get it. They'll go quick. Alright then, alright then, calm down, calm down. <laughs> See you in a bit Bricks. What's on that bloody piece of paper now? Um, we got a Fent two. We got a Fent nine two four five Vario. Looks like it's ninety eight or something. Nineteen ninety eight, two hundred and forty five horsepower. Right, well, I'll look at that one first then. I reckon. Bloody hell, George is doing well for himself. He's got a bloody. Is that T seven? Jesus Christ, they cost a fair few bob. Because I keep buying his bloody tractors, that's why. If I didn't keep buying them ones, we could have got one of them. George, you'd ever want one of them? My bloody do, it's blue. I like blue tractors, I do. And technically, that's just a Ford, that is, New Holland. Yeah, that is true, that is true. Right, Fent 924, George, that's what we're looking for. Um. Uh... You have a look in there. I don't think there is it. It is in there. Use the green, not the fent. Well, why are you looking there where all the green tracks are? Yeah, I get that now. God. Right, uh, fent 924. I imagine it's going to be bigger than this for what we want. Here we go, George. I found her. Oh, the Elmscroft. I like that. I do like that. I have to say straight away. Do you know what, George? I do. It's a beast of a machine. And look at the size of it. I tell you what, that's definitely got some power in it. It bloody has. Look at the size of the tyres. Crazy tractor. So, what it says on here then, George. These are the main bits for you, buddy. Oh, I'll go on far away. 94, 245 horsepower. Well, that's not too bad, is it? That's about where we want it. Yeah, that's perfect, that is. Uh, 1998, that's how old it is. Right then, yeah, not too bad. 48,000. <coughs> 48 bloody thousand pound. Holy. I mean, I knew they were going to be expensive, but Christ almighty. Where are we going to get that money from? George, you knew, you must have knew that these, these kind of tractors cost that much second hand. Oh, well, not for me, they don't. Me and Bricks are your friends. If he's charging me that, well, it's going to be bloody hell up, I tell you now. No, 48,000, right, well. Well, pretty much the other ones are around the same, George. You're bloody joking me, aren't you? That's what he's put down here. Well, that's not mate's rates. I'm telling you now, I'll get bloody mate's rates. Well, forget the price then right now. Just have a look at the tractors and see what you think. All right, um, right. Well, well, in regards to that then, I like this one. It's nice, big tractor, got the power. Not too old, not too new, because we don't want bloody new tractors, do we? You just told me you'd have that one out there, that's brand new. Well, that's different though, isn't it? It's a Ford. <laughs> right then. So, yeah. Well, I like it. Yeah. Exactly what we want. And, in all fairness, nice little contractor. I agree, I agree. It'll do the job, won't it? That's the main thing. That is the main thing. That's the only reason we're here. Right, next one's a uh, case 
Magnum 7240. 234 horsepower. It's there, isn't it? Oh, that's the one. A bit like yours, isn't it? Just bigger. Yeah, it seems that way, doesn't it? I don't know why, Case. You know, they're a good tractor, but... They're not a Ford. Yeah, but neither's a Fent. No, it's not. But it begins with an F, and I like the look of that one. This one, it's nice, but it doesn't look as nice as that Fent. All right, and well, I'll tell you what, then. He wants 34,000 for this. Yeah, hey, I tell you what, it looks nice. It does look nice, actually. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I do like it, actually. <laughs> yeah, I thought you would. Well, what, what's your horsepower again? 234, so a little bit less. Uh, a little bit less, but still, 234 would do the job, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. It would do the job. You're right. So, yeah, it's uh, 95. 1995. Well, a bit older as well. So, like me, gets better with age. <laughs> right, Ed. So, you like this one? I do, I do. I like the price. Yeah, you basically just like the price, don't you? I do. I'm not going to lie, I bloody do. Uh, I like the price. Right, well, that's that then. And I think that's the one over there, George. I saw it when we came in. He's obviously still checking it out. Right, well, let's go have a look at it then. Ah, uh -huh, that's the one. What did you say it was? Ford 89.70. Ford 89.70, there you go then. I mean, come on, Scroff, you've got to admit, she looks stunning. Yeah, she does. I admit that, George. Nice tractor, that is. Do with a clean, but obviously he's only just had it in, hasn't he? Ah, uh, exactly. Tires as tires on that. Bloody hell fire, it's a beast. Oh, but, I mean, don't tell me the price, because if you tell me this one's bad, I don't know what I'm going to do. 42,865 he's put on here. What a weird number. Bloody hell fire, I'll get that down. <laughs> 240 horsepower. Oh, right in the middle. Right in the middle. What age? 94, so the oldest one. Oh, bloody hell. They're pretty much all where we want them, aren't they? Pretty much, yeah. One's a Ford. So, you know, it's a Ford. And, uh It's right in the middle, isn't it? I mean, if I could get that for 40 grand... Imagine if... I mean, I don't know what... It's confused. I'll be honest, I haven't got a clue what I should pay for it. Well, what I'd do, George, is just see how much. Pick pick the one you want, right? Knock him down the best you can. And then go think about it for a few days. Tell him don't sell it for a few days. Think about it. And, you know, I'll do a bit of research for you and find out if that's a good price. Well, I think it's that best way, isn't it? Right, I'll tell you what then, I'm going to try and go, I'll go to now, knock him down on all three, see which one we can get for what price, best price on them all. We'll go to the pub. I knew you were going to say that, I just knew you were going to say that. Well, I bloody was that. I pretty much told you, back up it go. Yeah, I know. Right, well we'll go to the pub and I'll think about them, the prices, and then I'll sit on it for three days. Three days, that's a bit specific. Three days is always a good time. After three days, I'll make my decision. All right, then. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like you know what you're doing. I'm just going to quickly sit in that before we head off. Right, well, while you do that, I'm going to go speak to Brixie. All right, then, buddy. Nice tractor, isn't it? I can imagine sitting in this out in the field. Got a radio as well. I like it. I do. Nice tractor, but then again, I, I like all three, really. They all look fine to me. I mean, they're not my tractor, the George's. It's his decision. And uh, I just want to do the field work. I want, make it, I want it to make my life easier, because I'm going to be the one out there. And again, this is really nice inside, isn't it? Yeah, got a radio as well. Yeah, I mean, you can't complain, really, can you? Both of them. Superb inside. Nice and clean, that is. But obviously, he, he serviced that one, cleaned it out. Let's just have a quick look at this vent, then. It's a bit more dirty in here, though. 
Tell it's had a lot more use probably. Probably more hours on the clock on this, which he hasn't actually put in, so I might tell George to make sure he asked about that. Because we got the years, but we haven't got the hours. Hmm. Nice tractors though. Three decent tractors there. Who knows what George will decide to do? He's got a tricky decision to make now. You something? Uh, no, not no, not not really. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just just taking notes. Right. Okay. Um. Does George know you're here? I think I might go just give him a ring because I'm not sure whether you're meant to be here. 